good day. For today, we'll be solving some problems on combustion of liquid fuels given the fuel analysis. So in this case, we'll be solving for the cetane number. The problem goes like this. A high-speed diesel engine burns diesel fuel to give an exhaust gas analyzing 7.14% carbon dioxide, 4.28% carbon monoxide, 8.24% oxygen, 80.34% nitrogen. Calculate the cetane number of the fuel fired. So what are cetane numbers? Cetane numbers are used to indicate the quality of a diesel fuel oil for compression ignition engines. It is defined as the percentage by volume of cetane C16H34 in a cetane methyl naphthalene C11H10 mixture that has the same performance as the fuel. Also given is that the density of cetane is 0.7751 gram per ml and that of methyl naphthalene is 1.025 gram per ml. So in this case, let's just say this is the engine, the fuel, and then there's air and the product gases. So we're given that the stack gases has the analysis of CO2, CO, O2, and N2. So CO2, CO, O2, and N2. So that means the dry stack gases here does not include water. So this is in percentage by moles. So that's 7.14. CO is 4.28. O2 is 8.24. And nitrogen is 80.34. So we can see here that this sums up to 100. That means it's complete. Also given is that for the fuel, this consists of cetane. So that's C16, H34. Yep. C11, H10. You're given that the density for the cetane and the density for the naphthalene are 0 0.7751. Sorry gram per ml and 1.025 gram per ml so what would be the best basis in this case since you're given the complete analysis of the stack gases the best basis would then be the dry stack gases so in this case let's try 100 moles of dry stack gas so let's start calculating in this case, we're lucky enough because you're already given the dry stack gas. You know the amount of nitrogen given. So with the nitrogen supplied in the air, N2 supplied, this is 80.34 moles. You can already solve for the amount of oxygen supplied by the air. So this one is going to be 80.34 times 21 over 79 so this is going to be 21.36 moles of oxygen so that we know how much oxygen was supplied and then in here you know you know that you have some excess o2 we can solve first for the amount of oxygen unaccounted for to be able to solve for the amount of water so o2 unaccounted for is equal to 21.36, which is the supplied, minus how much oxygen was used to combust to CO2. So this is 7.14. And then how much is needed, supposedly, to have complete combustion of that CO? That's plus 4.28 over 2. And then how much oxygen is given in excess? So that's 8.24. So all in all, when you calculate this, this gives you 3.836 moles of unaccounted for oxygen. That means this one is the one that is not listed in here. The oxygen that has reacted to form water. So this one is reacted to form the water. So that's is for the water. So let's calculate. We can calculate here the uh, moles of net hydrogen gas which is 
3.836 times 2. So that's 7.672 moles. Or if we really want to calculate the net atomic hydrogen, this is 7.672 times 2, which is 15.34 moles. Okay. In this case, since we need to calculate the cetane number of the incoming fuel, that means we also need the amount of carbon. So in order to, do to solve that, the moles of carbon should then be the moles of carbon that went to CO2 plus the moles of carbon that went to CO. All in all, you should have 11.42 moles of carbon atoms. So let's put that in a table because we would want to get the proportion C16 H34 and C11 H10, the number of moles, and then the moles of carbon atoms, the moles of hydrogen atoms. So let's try solving this. If we don't know the number of moles yet of C16H34, let's just place that as X, and then this is Y. Um, in C16H34, for carbon, that's going to be 16X. This is going to be 11Y. And then this is going to be 34X. And then this is going to be 10Y. However, we have already solved earlier that um, the moles of hydrogen atoms are 15.34 and the moles of carbon atoms are 11.42. So meaning in here, we can actually solve for the moles cetane and the moles of methyl naphthalene. So in order to do that, solving simultaneously two equations, so that's 16x plus 11y is equal to 11.42 and the other one would be, I'll just erase this. The other one would be 34 plus 10y is equal to 15.34. So with these two equations, we can solve for x and y. x being 0.255 moles. y being 0.667 moles. So now, let's create another table. So C16, H34, C11, H10. Now that we know the number of moles, this is 0 0.255. This is 0 0.667. We can have the molecular weight. The molecular weight of cetane is 226, whereas that of the methyl naphthalene is 100. 42. So you know the moles, you know the molecular weight, we can solve for the mass in grams. So the mass, let's just multiply the two, you'll be able to get 57.63 grams and then the one at the bottom is 94.717. Take note earlier that we were given densities. So given the density in gram per ml, this is given as 0 0.7751 and 1.025 we can solve now for the volume so volume is mass over density you'd be able to solve this one as 74.35 ml and then the other one as 92.40 when you sum this up this gives us a total of 166.75 since we are concerned on the amount of cetane in the mixture let's solve for the percentage by volumes 74.35 divided by 166.75 this gives us 44.59 whereas the other 194 92.4 divided by 166.75 gives us 55.41 so looking at this we can say that the ct number is approximately 45 so that is it please place comments if you have any questions Thank you very much.